What's up, Nexus Youth? Welcome to another week. Uh, we got another game with, uh, for you guys, and we have some students this week with us. So the game we're going to be playing today is uh, Soda Trivia. So we're going to be having the students drink sodas that they don't know what they're drinking, and they have to guess it right. Now the twist is we're shooting them in the face with squirt guns, and the squirt guns are going to be filled with the soda. So it's going to be a little funny, and they're going to have to guess what kind of soda that they're getting squirted in the face with. So let's get right into it. What's up, Nexus Youth? We're your hosts. My name's Trent. My name's Nate. Hey, 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I'm winning a John. <laughs> <Drink the water! laughs> All right, so the first one we're gonna be doing is Sprite. We got, um, the other two, I guess, the lemon flavored ones. Well, actually, I don't know if Mountain Dew is lemon flavored, but we got Squirt. So this one's gonna be kind. Of, I would think. I think this one's gonna be kind of tough. I think that's good. Okay. Should I fill? It? I'm just gonna put it on the floor over here, and then I'm just gonna fill it up that way. I'm just gonna put it right here so they can't see it. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. <laughs> okay. I think that's okay. All right, who's first? Todd. Hey. All right, Todd, here we go. Oh, no, 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 Sam first. Oh, Sam first. Oh, oh he slapped me. You ready? All right, here we go. You don't want to block it. You want to know what it tastes like, right? <laughs> you. You're ready. Wait, that looks like a really, that looks like a really strong one. Get ready. 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 Close your eyes. Close your eyes or whatever you gotta do. I can't get your mouth if you're your pants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I don't wanna do it. Don't guess, don't, don't guess that. Just think about it. Oh my god. Look at my eyes. It's fucking. That's so bad. I cover your eyes. That thing's strong. <laughs> that thing got in my eyes. Alright. Think, think about what it is right now while I, I get the know. other two. Alright, Sammy, here we go. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say what it is yet. Don't say what it is yet. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> that sucks. I don't even know what this is. I think I can't. Bro, this All right, I got it right now. Oh no. Okay. I oh. think you can't. You ready? Oh. You went straight. I'll give you guys 10 seconds to think, uh, think about what you think it is. And I'm going to give you all a piece of paper and you're going to write down what you I think you better know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to sure. point it out. <laughs> sure, you only have to say it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why not? Everybody, you have 15 seconds to write down your guess. And then uh, once you have your answer, flip over your paper so nobody else can see it. I don't even know. It's a sharpie. It's a sharpie. <laughs> oh well. I don't even know. You don't want anybody else to see your answer. All right. On the count of three, you're all gonna flip over your answer. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. All right. Ty oh, guess no, Sprite. I, I got it wrong. Sammy guess Sprite. Hey, yo, and he so guess. That, right? Dr. Pepper. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right now, uh, Ty and Sammy both have one point. There's seven more rounds to go. Let's see what happens. I didn't. Uh, All right. So, let's get this. so we're doing Pepsi this round. Everybody loves a little bit of Pepsi. Let's see how they like it when they get hit in the face with it. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. You ready? Okay, fine. Let me cover my eyes. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. It, it got into my nose. nose. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you went his arm. Okay, gotcha. You said. I don't know. I don't know these sodas. I don't drink them. Okay. Whatever. You drink soda all the time. No, I know, but I don't drink these kinds. He drinks monsters. Okay. Oh, I got some. All right. Five, four, I this on my three, two, one. Show your answers. Oh, no. We got Coca-Cola, 
Pepsi Coca and Coca-Cola. Sammy got the point, it was Pepsi. So, all, right. all right, so who's winning so far? So right now, uh, Isaac has zero points. Ty has one point, and then Sammy, he's two for two. He's got two points. I say, let's go for the Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. It's Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Honestly, this isn't a bad challenge, other than the fact that they might get soda everywhere. Soda up their nostrils. And who knows, they could win a $10 gift card, right? That's true. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I hope you guys are showering after this, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Who's that? Guy. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Alright. Alright, you guys have 15 seconds to guess. 15. Domino's 14. is on the line. 13. Uh. 12. That's not a good thing. 11. This is not this, but. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Show us your answers. Alright, we got Mountain Dew, Sierra Mist, and Mountain Dew. Both Ty and oh, Isaac oh, oh. got the point. There you go. Let's go. I like taste the difference. All right. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you guys where we're at right now. So Isaac got his first point on round three. Ty got his second point on round three. And right now, Sammy missed his first point. So Ty and Sammy are tied right now for two, and Isaac only has one. Let's get to the next round. Dr. Pepper. This has like a really like specific taste. Yeah, if they get this one wrong, I mean, unless they don't drink Dr. Pepper, because... True. But Dr. Pepper doesn't taste like anything else, I don't think. No, I what? Are you ready? Oh, God. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Everything! Wet up your nose? Twice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, got a lot in this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it mixed? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get you guys paper. Think about what you think it might be. I don't even know. What you mean. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I've had so many different sodas. I've had zero. Oh, let me get Sammy. I got him, I got him. Oh, okay. Alright, you guys have 10 seconds to guess. Oh, don't look for answers. Why are you looking at me for answers, too? It's not a good idea. Trent, stop it for my nose. <laughs> I, I'm honestly not even aiming. Alright, you guys ready? Five, four, I think I'm three, wrong, two, one. Alright, so we got Coca Cola, oh. Coca Cola, oh, and okay. root beer. You're all wrong. All it's wrong. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. You're serious? Yeah, you should know that Dr. one, Ty. That was Dr. Pepper? Yeah, I'm surprised you guys didn't get that one. I didn't taste that. One. that. <laughs> 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 and I was at the table for nothing. All right. <laughs> What's up, Nexus Youth? Welcome back to another devotion with me and Trent. Yep. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about listening to God and how it betters his plan for our life. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's definitely important in, uh, you know, breaking down what he has for us and then actually fulfilling what he has for us. So, um, Trent has notes, I have some notes, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, um, basically, everybody knows, and if you've been around church, like, you know that God has a plan for you. You've heard that multiple times. God has a plan and a purpose, and if you haven't, you're hearing it now. God has a plan and a purpose for your life, and He wants to do amazing things in your life. You just have to let Him into those parts of your life yeah. and control it a little bit, you know, like uh, take you into certain situations, take you into uh, different um, interests in your life and stuff like that to build your character to be the person that He wants you to be. And so that, that comes along with listening. Um, like I said in the title, you have to listen to God um, in order for you to be able to fulfill the plan He has for your life. And uh, He doesn't want us to just listen, He wants us to follow. So we can listen all we want. You know, when you get in an argument with somebody, if me and Trent are arguing, He might be listening to me, but it doesn't necessarily mean He's agreeing with me, right? Yeah. 
And so um, we could be listening to God, but it doesn't mean that we agree with what he's telling us to do or what he wants us to do. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's really key, too, is not just listening, but then also wanting to do it. You know, like when he calls you to something, you want to do it. Yeah. You know, I'm a visual, per- visual person, so I kind of like when I think of this, think of it more, more as God is the captain of a ship. Yeah. And we are the ship. We are the vessel he uses to get to the places he wants to go. It, there's this whole plan and everything he has set out. But in order for God to move and work through the, this world, he needs us. And so he, well, he doesn't need us, but he uses us right. um, if we are faithful and we accept and we let him. So picture it. You're that ship. You need, a, you need to let God take control of your life to move you in the right direction. Because without God, you're just a ship blowing through the wind. Yeah. You don't know where you're going. Hmm. And so that's why, so that's why I want to uh, put that visually in your guys' brain. Uh, yeah. to just picture it. Let God uh, turn your will to the right direction. Yeah. Jesus, take the will. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so we have, uh, God has a plan for us. Uh, we need to listen, and then we need to follow, right? Yeah. And so the next thing I want to talk about was we need to reach out to him because he is going to set this idea or like thing that we want to do into our life, and he's going to be like, okay, now you need to trust me, right? So he wants us to reach out to him in those hard times. I know me and Trent have both said in past devotions, you know, we've had a calling on our life and we're just kind of going through it. You know, like we don't know what the next step is. Just opportunities come up and we take them because we just know that's the next thing. And we don't know when those opportunities are going to come. We don't know what opportunities are going to come. But when they come up, we take them and we just trust God. And so um, in those times, it can be very confusing. It can be uh, crazy. It can be stressful. And so in those times, he wants us to reach out to him. And he's always there for us. Obviously, he's the one that planned out every single little thing in our life. And so when those times come up, that's the first thing he wants us to do is to reach out, um, reach out to him. And he's always faithful and comes through. Yeah, there's a verse I wanted to read. It's in John verses 10, uh, uh, 27 through 30. And it says, my sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. And what I think that's saying is, is if we let God, um, you know, if we listen to God, and we let God control our life, and, and we give everything over to Jesus, yeah, He's going to protect us. He's going to have us in his hand. and He's not going to let anybody else take control of our lives. Because that, sometimes that's what the devil will do. Yeah. He'll see that we're lost and we, we're looking for something. And so he's, he tries to uh, be this fake version of God. And he'll try to use you in ways that you don't want to be used. And so uh, what this verse is saying is if you, if you uh, listen to his voice, if you listen to God, if you let him take, uh, ha- have control over your life and you listen to him, He'll have you perfectly in his uh, hand, and he will protect you from everything, and nothing will be able to snatch you away from him. Yeah, I like that. Um, So, you know, closing today, um, I wanted to just remind you guys, listen, I'm going to repeat the title, listening to God and how it betters his plan for you. So knowing that he has a plan, listening to that plan, listening to what God has to say, but then not just listening but following that plan and actually pursuing that plan. And then he wants us to reach out to us yeah. or to him. And uh, that's, that's key because if we are not constantly praying and reaching out to him, we don't have that relationship with him. And that plan that he has for us and that he set on our heart isn't going to be fulfilled the way that he wants it to be. Yeah. And so um, those are the points that I want you guys to remember for today. Um, If you will go ahead and bow your heads with Trent, can you end us in some prayer? Absolutely. God, I just thank you so much for everything you have planned for us, God. I thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives, God. And I thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you've given all of us. And that, Lord, you're constantly protecting us when we have faith in you. And that um, we believe that you are around us and you're with us, God, and that you're never and that you never stop loving us, God. Mm. And so, Lord, I pray that um, this, anybody watching this, um, that they would just 
listen to your voice, God, that they would uh, listen to the plans that you have for their lives, God, because your plans are better than any other person's plans, God, that you're the number one way uh, to eternal life and to love. And God, I just pray that our relationship with you would just grow, Lord, and that we would just uh, be faithful to you. So I thank you so much for all that you're doing in our lives, and thank you so much for what you're going to do in our lives, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's video, and we'll see you guys uh, later. See you later. Bye.